Are you gonna be watching Shark Week this week? You're damn right I am, it's on my DVR. What's up everyone, I'm Cliff. And I'm Tanner Two Stiff Walters. And welcome to the Ibble Bits Show, where we cover the top trending stories each day in under five minutes. So Tanner, have you been to the Giant Bean in Chicago? I have, I grew up in Indiana, so it was right next to me. Nice, I have not been yet. Anyone taking bean selfies during the COVID pandemic could be in big trouble. Chicago officials have even taken to scrubbing social media posts to see if people are following the current protocols. They're even using contact tracing to see who is or is not following their 14-day quarantine. Isn't that a violation of our rights? Over the weekend, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake hit along the border of Virginia and North Carolina. The tremors were substantial enough to shake houses and were even felt as far away as Atlanta. So, Tanner, what do you know about tectonic plates? Um, aren't tectonic plates the fancy dinner plates that my mom uses at dinner? I thought so too, turns out it's not. Mm. The US Geological Survey said it was the strongest quake to hit the area since 1916. That's crazy, I mean, I've never been in an earthquake, but I can't imagine the ground moving below your feet. Oh man, and they've been happening so often lately. Everyone's favorite vocal critic, Simon Cowell, had a spill on his electric bike and was taken to the hospital. Allegedly, he was testing it out in the courtyard of his Malibu home when the accident occurred. Tanner, where do you practice your uh, scooter skills? Riding on the street. You're a rebel. I hope you're wearing a helmet. He's reported to be doing well, but the injuries will require surgery. Q helmet. <laughs> exactly. I don't think it, don't think it fits. <laughs> so we have a new champion in golf. Colin Morikawa pulled off a stunner this weekend by winning the PGA Championship at TPC Harding Park. Morikawa is solidifying his role as the face of golf's youth movement by winning his first major in only two tries. Very impressive. Is he the next Tiger? You know, I don't know. Why does he have to be the next Tiger? Why can't he be the first Colin Morikawa? Because you always have to beat your predecessors. Yeah, that's fair. Well, he ended up winning the tournament at 13 under par by beating Dustin Johnson by two strokes. Former McDonald's CEO Steve Easterbrook was fired last fall due to allegations of sexting with a subordinate, but still was able to leave his job with an estimated 40 million in stock options. Last month, another allegation was made, and now McDonald's is filing a lawsuit against Easterbrook to prevent him from cashing in on his options. This move is a detour from the typical route that American corporations usually do when confronting allegations. Yesterday marked the beginning of one of the most highly anticipated weeks of television. You know what that is? Of course. It's Shark Week 2020. Discovery has promised to have, quote, brand new innovative shark research technology that should give us a better look at the sharks. Catch the action every night from 8 to 12 p.m. through August 16th on the Discovery Channel. Are you gonna be watching Shark Week this week? You're damn right I am, it's on my DVR. Did you see Mike Tyson's gonna be on there? No, what's he doing? He's going underneath and like gonna be He's telling swimming me that Mike with sharks. Tyson swims with sharks. He, yes. Is he gonna punch a shark in the face? I think that he might have, yes. I'll watch that. All right guys, thanks for tuning in to the Ibble Bits Show, the best daily news show on YouTube. If you like the show, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to download our app as well. It's pretty awesome. See you next time, bye. Bye.